this is the one star uh jinx path the weekly challenge with our two star bike let's do this i tried this path twice with echo one star and just he just sucks so yeah we're trying with yeah bike squad i don't like any of them we think of this is weird i will take a reroll spine so you don't want anything a wicked style like plus one plus one is something i would like okay you have to talk about the powers right there so kill all units except each player's strongest so that means at the end of the round only one will survive and that is the fun part of this path yeah it's a very tricky fight path if you're playing with low level low level low star champions it's okay we're attacking this turn we're not atta attacking this next turn so we definitely want this we don't want these two obviously uh, i can keep this one this guy gives us one extra uh, unit, which will be beneficial because we're skipping one turn. We don't have anything for one mana, that's fine. Okay, now we have. Okay, so, so we will play. We keep this for next turn. Where's my axe? Hopefully, we'll hit Lurk. Super. The strongest will survive, so this is the strongest. Next turn, this is all. We should be there 5 5. Okay. Play this first. Attack every round is going to be crazy strong here. Okay, we'll take the trade because only one will survive. So might as well take the trade. This one survives. Pike is here. Pike is for four. If I play Pike, Pike dies to this. Because next to this one. Okay. So what we want to do is play this. Do the attack. Get the damage in. Whatever they play. Okay. Stun play this one and now we actually have lethal on them yeah there we go super my god how easy it is to do with the two star champion echo is struggling like hell each fight takes like 10 minutes ish okay pretty good yeah i don't wanna i will never do with one star again my hair okay so reroll here oh, i'll take a bone skewer actually nah bone skewer made messes up the lurk right yeah i'll take a reroll here one mana is pretty decent i know that will also um mess up lurk but might as well have low mana units in the deck okay all of these are weird seraphine is weird <laughs> seraphine web champions i'll take Puya. because the things nah i don't think they can get lurk but still uh, item sword sorry monk i am going for the marauder fight yeah this will be a little tricky i normally go for the other one i normally did go for the other one for the two tries i did with echo but this is like in same drill throw this away uh as you get more and more cards the chances of you hitting lurk goes down more and more so you have to be careful about that this guy has quick attack this guy has faded okay um i'm gonna take faded go next i'm gonna hit plunder and get this guy oh he did get, get lurk okay super we don't have to play more units because i told you only one card so only one unit survives they don't need to play anything. You play all of them in one go. Six five. Yes. Take the, take the trade, obviously. We'll play Pike. Yeah, this is a very good turn to get damage in. So we'll go wide. Let this. Let's do the damage. Miss Lurk. It's fine by us. Uh, we put this one on our bike. Get more stat line. Actually, I should just give an attack power. Stat line is pointless. Uh, HP is pointless. Dies to that. Pass. Okay. Kill it, go into the thing. Play Kaisa. Oh, she leveled up. Because Lark itself is a keyword. That's still pretty good. She leveled up without even me playing that Boro. Crazy. Already has that one. Kills it, right? No, it doesn't. Unfortunately, let's break to get up your lurk in then. This guy has lurk, so play him. Oh, 
see what the duck has done. Slime pike us. Lark, so if I play pike, pike dies. So just swing with this. This dig will take the trade. Die. It's fine by us. We don't have to give keywords because none of them had actually any decent keyword. Uh, it's really fine. This guy's pretty big. Okay. It's eight. It's, we have need one to challenge their number, yeah. Yes. Take it out. We can't play anything, obvious reasons, it will die. So this is the turn when we go all in. Play all, all the small units should be played first. So let's predict. We get a confirmed lurk. Take the lurk. Play this. Play this. Oh, he got Fury, so that Fury can be taken. Super. Okay, I can play another one as well. I told you, it would go with all in this man. Super. Oh, one damage short. Super unlucky. All of them will die. Oh, each, each of them dying puts more lurkers in the deck. That's actually nice. She's humongous. Yeah, our swing kills them, by the way. The uh, One of the, yeah, will hit face, I think. Shots. I think. Nah, it won't. Never mind, it won't. It's fine. All of them are pretty big. Marauders are here. Oh, these have got overrun. Very nice. Yeah, so that should do it. We take overrun from this guy, and there's no way they can block it. Yeah, this guy is also have a run now. Super. That was actually nice. Kaisa is actually Kaisa is a thousand times better. Then what did I take last time? I can't remember. I took something bad with Echo and it was not working out at all. Yeah, but Kaisa is working pretty well. So we get this vulnerable. It's pretty good. Zero mana, so it's okay. Item free attack round here. It's not the greatest if you think about it. Sounds a free unit. Uh, I'll take a free unit for two mana. Champion attachment shop. And this always the shop gets priority. Go for shop side. Yeah, this is a thousand times better than what I got. I can't remember what I got. I remember that it wasn't working with Pike. Throw away this. Keep this one. We have two small units so we can have backup this. Backup support. Elusive, pretty good. But they're attacking. We want to block with something at least. Actually, now we take the one hit because with this guy grows, it attacks for free. It doesn't trade into that, I mean. If we hit Lurk, that is. Hopefully, we'll hit Lurk. Of course not. I guess I'll take the trade though. We missed Lurk, so we can't really play this one. I'll just play our quick attack. Quick attack. Uh, Kai's already has it, so no point playing quick attack. Let's look at the other keywords. Fury, pretty good. Get this transient as long as the body holds blood. Play this first to see what they get. No lurk. My by us. We'll take the trade. We take the trade because I'm gonna play the voidling now, right now. So if there are two units, the voidling dies, right? So just go next. I will just swing. Actually, I can dish out damage. Yeah, I'm gonna lose units, but I'm gonna get dish out damage as well. This one here. This. Seven damage is pretty good. All of them will die. Put more copies of it in deck. Okay, that sucks. Guys, let's see. Super unlucky. And why didn't we play that? Yeah, I don't know why I played that. I thought I, 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 I think I thought I saw that he had actually one, one attack power extra. Yeah, we hit so we missed so many lurks. 
Pretty good for us. The Kaisa. She's one off. E off. See if I can give her anything good. Ah, oh, she has stuff, man. I'm going blind or something. This guy doesn't have Yes, she gets traded there. This is a good lurk. Hmm. It gets vulnerable if it doesn't have vulnerable. Okay, it's fine. We go next then. I'm going blind. Yeah, I played. I made two big misplays there. Everyone bleeds for the right predict, predict the thing. Get another one. By all means, get in my way. Get this one. Fine, fine. Hmm. War teaches us all. Okay. <laughs> Try to understand. I matter. You don't. Swing. Kill that one. Kill it. Oh, I'll take the damage on Kaisa. Kaisa is not doing much at the moment anyways. And I have no a bone screw to defend her if she gets targeted. Okay. Okay, these lists are not that good uh, unless you get vulnerable. I actually forgot how to yeah. I for forgot how to play the you list need combo. Mm -hmm. you need wait. Huh? The keywords are also pretty bad. Just so short. Yeah. Just play this then. Actually, I should have attacked with everything. Because the unit's dying, anyways. Yeah, so put list here. And put list here. This guy's gonna attack that guy and die. I actually forgot how, how the list worked. Okay, it's fine. Now Kaisa will be the only one survive. Get the piston. Finally, the <laughs> harpoons are coming in. Oh, we're at the borderline, right? Five, six, yeah. None stronger, none more feared. Okay. I have the name. Okay. This. Three damage. Five to that. Then we get Kaisa and play Kaisa. We have bones, uh, harpoon to defend. We need to. <laughs> Pike is also here. We can, play. We can actually play everything. Holy oh, shit! Overman is also not contributing. Let's do this. With this one. Oh, he has challenger, that's why. Forever, though. It's shaky. I say HP, this can't defend, so... This guy. Should be here, no? I'm coming Super. 13 damage. I think I should have harpoon, right? Yeah, I should have harpoon. We would have won there. No! Oh my god! Our fish! This guy is here now. You lived. Yeah, definitely should have harpooned. We would have won if we did. Take the tree. Play this guy. Please, for the love of God, please. <laughs> don't miss Lurk. Please don't miss Lurk. Okay, now. Okay, I have to play that one. Or else. This guy means confirm Lurk. Oh man, how many Marais here he has? Okay. So confirm Lurk. That means he will have overrun. There we go. Super. Uh, yeah, mistakes were made in the end. It's my fault. Absolutely my fault. I played super sloppy there. If I just harpooned them and we would have won. <laughs> so much damage. Okay. Strongest and weakest. Too expensive. I will take a lark in the deck. Draw two cards. Not take draw two cards. We have more cards to deal with at the start. That's where we are struggling, as you can see, we're running out of cards fast. Just bleeding out cards because of the power. Okay. Stormkinch. I have no idea how will this work. Yeah. 
guys suck pike is doing they're, they're doing okay they're doing not they're not doing amazingly well but they're doing okay throw these away keep the three mana one one mana we have we're attacking next turn oh we can play yeah this round two damage we can play this turn hopefully get a lurk super you lose the reunion but you're okay with this i don't, I don't mind the trade these jewels are more than as long as we are getting lurk So we want to vulnerable that guy and send play this guy and send it against it and keep this one alive. And by yes, take this. Send this one here. No hit, missed lurk. Fine by us. Go next. Tonkage's turn. Now it's gonna be super problematic. Let's see what they do. Okay. Yeah, this is actually okay. Okay, it's not okay because they healed it. And took our lurk as well. Hopefully, I think they took our lurk. Okay. We the actually obviously have to do this. I have to lurk. Increasing the attack power, attack power of the squad is more important. They could have just blocked with Kench. Challenger. Let's play Challenger because so that uh, yeah levels are faster. Ooh, he's eight. Super. But then I can actually, if Tonkins doesn't eat this guy. Is he going to eat here yeah, though? They might, yeah. Or not. Can grab this one. Yeah, he is eating that one. But I don't know why they did that, because I can just do this. Get my yeah back. She keeps our stab. Nice. Okay, you remember whoever has vulnerable is the free attacker on here. Yeah, we are actually finally hitting Lurk pretty well now. Yeah, but you have to understand Lurk is absolute RNG, especially uh, it's not RNG in PvP, but it's super RNG in Battle of Champions. Okay, like I said, playing too many units is not that, that beneficial. You just lose a lot of cards. We are five, okay with five damage. Boss fight, we heal back. Too worried. And go next. One keyword. I don't even remember. I don't even know which keywords I'm missing. Quick attack is here, so it's not missing. Uh, let's predict. We get a confirm lurk. This is not a lurk. This is not a lurk. This is a lurk. Uh wider okay fine Hollowing is a... <laughs> we got super lucky there Hollowing is a keyword yeah because stars that up from us super we should, should take vulnerable here uh, uh overwhelm here yeah definitely should have overwhelm here we would have won easy That's fine. We make mistakes. We learn. All of them die. Yeah, but the more units you lose, the higher chance of you getting a lurk. Have to block it. Oh, free attack followed. Super. Go next. And this swing swing should get the, get us the win. The Mirage Ruse are so... Yeah, the Mar Marina's Ruse hits targets that already have Lurk. So Mirage Ruse gives plus one, plus one. Yeah. Nice. Pretty good, pretty good. See you next time. Yeah, you actually pretty do, did pretty well. Way more, better than I thought it would. Okay. Free attack, yeah, is pretty good. Attack power, yeah, is also pretty good. Attack power, lurk, yeah, Pike is decent. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's put let's just give overrun to yeah, Kaisa. She will she will contribute towards her own level up, which is basically keywords. I mean, yeah, this should be fine. The others are usually risky. What if a big unit is on the board? She's supposed to cost one less. Is pretty nah, it's not that great. Damaging units costing the attack power is pretty good. 
Okay, red path is obviously our priority. Yeah. Damage you do co uh, lowers the cost is pretty good because we constantly hit with uh, Jawfish. So whoever's defending, if it doesn't kill it, it's gonna. If it's a big unit, then they're gonna lose attack power. We'll throw this away. Keep the fish for a confirm lurk. Not two of them. Pretty nice. Yeah, double draw is pretty good. I, I won't lie. Okay, so we'll do this. Super unlucky. And this dies automatically. Oh, we'll go next. Yeah, the one mana extra helps a lot. You are in the right to call this. Watch. Obviously. Yeah, I'm okay with this, right? I think I am. Yeah, I am. I don't want to take phase damage too much. Yeah, the power goes down. It's super. It's a super power. It, it's it's better than it looks. So we have two units. Hopefully we can. Hopefully both of them won't get stunned. God of that, okay. Get this one. Oh, swing. Just for the sake of trading, tra like trading something. Because if I trade this, it doesn't matter. Yeah, dies as well. But this will get stunned. That will stay. This will get stunned. SS3 by 6. Not the worst. You're doing pretty well in terms of level up. She's 6 by 5. This in the deck. Full swing. Open attack, I mean. I should have actually looked. Nah. It would have happened automatically anyways. My us. This will get vulnerable. If I get vulnerable, the strongest one is this one. Okay. Actually, nah. Nah, 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 nah. That's fine. This will get some again. I just kill again. Guy says. Let's predict, right? Predict is really risky now. Yeah, predict is fine though. None of them is. I hate this guy is lurking. Super. I need just a moment. So they do that, we'll do this. It's super risky though. We can get stunned. It's fine. Because the only blocker at the moment is this guy. Yeah. Because they have mana to steal. that deck has a lot of stuns. Super high level stuns. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do I have nah? I don't have to play anything. Don't play things for the sake of playing it. Know your yeah. enemy. Confirm Lark. Okay, stun. Oh, damn. That's a lot of damage. Okay, pulled it, so that's less damage. Play this. It goes vulnerable, and we can just list it, so we take it out. Super. Uh, go next. I think we're gonna okay, we're gonna exit fine. Oh, eleven. Look at this. Lurk, yeah. The jaw jaws are crazy at the moment. The jaws are killing everything. We don't want to play jaw this turn. Yeah, we don't want to play jaw this turn. The void. You want to play jaw next turn? We have something <laughs> the girl gave us spell shield. Yeah, yeah, we are getting super lucky with a random thing. She gave us a spell shield and she leveled up immediately. Because this guy is actually the one surviving. <laughs> Kaiser is dying. Victory requires a sharp blade. Kaiser dies. This is monster, holy shit. These are monster jaws. Just play this. Yeah, they have to trade it. Even if they don't want to. I need just a moment. Get this. Where's my That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Six damage. Get this one, 12 damage. It looks super close. Obscure. Predictor. Oh, well. Predictor. 
another predictor. Okay, it's fine by us. I don't really mind. Oh, I actually do mind. Because it dies, right? Okay, this survives. I'm okay with this. I swing this with that, we die. They die, I mean. There you go. Nice. Super. Snapjaw is an absolute monster. That super carry here. Pike's not doing much. It's his squad. Is Pike's squad is what's carrying him. Mm. I'll put this. You can draw a champion. Go for our heal. I mean our... Yes. Checkpoint. I don't really like any of them. Or take a reroll. Spell mana refill is pretty good. Go for a pit stop. Let's see what we can get. All allies under trees lurk. If that's not a blessing, I don't know what is. Okay. So out of these two, I actually sucked and lost against both of them. Question is, which one is... Yeah, I will play this one. It seemed like more reasonable that side than the other one. The other one is super painful. Even though you can lose here because uh, they double their stat line a lot. So you have to be a little wary about that one. This guy's attacking next turn. Everything under one three is Lark. So that's brutal. Mages can't hide Definitely have to attack. Miss Lark, it's fine by us. So I should have used this one then. With this one. With this one, this one. Yeah, this time I'm gonna use that thing. There's only one lord behind as it is. You look Super. Bones curious for emergency purposes and to keep that in mind. Get this one. Everybody is lurking. Yeah. No okay, Miss Lurk, swung by us. If this guy survives. Almost there. Contain the arcane. Oh, you're missing so many lurks. I'm actually okay with this this straight. As this as long as they don't have anything on the board, we're not too worried about what get hits and what doesn't get hit. I'll take the man and go next. These vulnerables are gonna be useful. Predictor with more Marina's thing. Okay. I think I'm gonna take this one. Okay, this is that does not alert. Okay. This is what we got like got us killed last time. They got mo the moose and the moose they doubled their stat line of the moose. I'm gonna play something just in case. Fine. Will you comply, or are you complacent? <laughs> Eight, yeah, fourteen. Yeah, we're gonna go wide. Grog in your work, burn if you uh -huh. don't. Off the next step, it yeah. Mm. This. this is the biggest one. This one. Oh damn! Super. Capture's fine by us. We take the capture. With the tech capture, we're gonna get it back. They are trying to just reduce the damage, and we are trying to get rid of every unit on that side. That's the only thing we care. Silence, right? It's the biggest one on the board. Play a little slow. See what they did. So now, first thing we do is give this guy a corner uh, spell shield. And then we'll work it. In case we get buried in ice. Let this one. All of them are lurkers. High lurking set lines that one. Mm. 
Rex is not doing that good. Oh, she did level up. Every move. I don't know how the keywords are coming, but it's fine. They are, I'm not keeping track like normally I would in a Kaisa deck. On a Kaisa fight. Exactly. That's the one that got us absolutely screwed. We couldn't do anything. That that is the power that got us absolutely screwed against Echo because Echo can't do anything. Yeah, super. This path being done means the deck is good enough. It's a lot of face damage, but still. A small victory is a victory. Yeah. Oh, super pain. 10 HP. Ah, uh, obviously we take the can take can life still as well. Ascribe your sorrow. Um, one, two, three should do it, right? Three should do it, and uh, one 185 will do a full heal here. Yeah, super perfect. We'll use all of our for uh, gold, and we go off against Jinx. Like yeah, this is the first time I'm actually making it this far. In Echo, I always die to the fight that I just did. So yeah, should be fun to a certain extent. Okay, we have two snapshots, but we'll keep this for a backup uh, lurk for confirm lurk. And now we just need a vulnerable. HP is super important in this right now. Got five mana. They're attacking the So Lark confirm Lark. We get this. Yeah. Ooh, double Mernia spheres. Super crazy. Can we do this? We get do this so that this guy can block that one, yeah. That's it. Because, oh, damn, yeah, I forgot about the rocket. Yeah, if I remember the rocket, I wouldn't have played that. It's fine, take one damage. But you have to be super careful. One damage will go a lot. But yeah, Jinx is coming next turn. You have to be super wary about that one. Yo, they, they use their Jinx. Weird. So pass to see what they do. Okay, they took a pass. Super smart AI. You know, because they can just rocket us to death. Take it back, they're super smart. Got all the work done. Get excited, okay? This one, yeah. I think I should have just kept it for against here. Yeah. That, that was my bad. Should have kept it against Jinx. Now I have no fight against Jinx. Okay, you're on another one now. Avoid. Let's see how many things we can give our yeah. Uh -huh, you got the top. Uh, she has top. Let's give her that. Okay. She will. Fuck. She has not leveled up. Attacking with this guy is obvious because everything dies anyways, right? But then they should do it like this, nah. Obviously, this is max. Nah. Yeah, it doesn't actually matter how you do it. Yeah, they're, they're gonna block it like that, anyways. So this one is. This one is only for Jinx. We have List and Jinx tapped together, so we can actually go for Jinx. Let's see what happens. Oh damn! We got a four damage rate. But they're looking for Jinx. They don't have it. Okay. Okay, they're actually face rushing now. Ooh, super scared. I am super scared, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, God. You can get this one. In the hopes of getting a lurk. Yeah, see, they're super smart. They're not trading with that one. They could have. We're close as it is. Let's predict our lurkers first. It lurk. Okay. I think we got them. Okay. With this one. Doesn't actually matter how you do it right here, it doesn't. We already hit Lurk, uh, we want this next turn. And you list first, list attack first. 
list at list attack, attack first and then you go for the real attack and i will do double over one damage there we go actually triple over one damage super holy shit almost died there Ugh. Pain. but we got them nice good work Okay, so the 1.5 star uh, Jinx challenge, the weekly challenge done with our 2 star Echo. Let's see what we get. It was actually a good effort from both of the champions. See, it's fine. We, fought, we made it, that's what matters. You saw that even if it's like we barely survived with 10 HP and we were like uh, almost dying in majority of the fights. Not to mention the fact that we didn't have no, any revive. Anyways, attachment and power discussion time. So the support squad that I got was Kaisa and Kaisa had a... Uh, up on her and then later on i gave her overall this is good is because kaisa levels up on six keywords and she's contributing towards one two and three herself so you only need three extra moving on to the powers uh we got uh three gems extra temp temporary gems on turn one from the scribes of sorrow then all your allies that cost three or less are lurkers absolutely gorgeous because our squad is a lurk squad so all the random low units that you didn't have lurk on and you now almost missed lurks on now are lurks so higher probability of hitting lurk refill your spell armor is a decent thing not the greatest i realized that he, did, he doesn't the uh, pike squad doesn't have that many spells but it's okay uh next one is damage you do to enemies you use their attack power by the damage you do to them it's pretty good it's decent uh it worked well for a few situations so i would give it a thumbs up uh, moving on to the next power is game uh, start draw your two this is actually pretty good because you struggle to get decent uh, small units at the start so this power helped us a lot now of course grant your weakest ally plus one plus one for this specific path is very good because only one unit survives so the strongest one unit survives the rest of them die so that one unit will always get plus three more plus one plus one this is a pike's two star power every game starts you get one extra mana and whenever an ally dies create a random lurker that costs one more in your deck and grant it plus one plus one pretty decent and of course game start grant uh, mirai's ruse to two random allies when you get uh get the attack token grant it to one more mirai's ruse is basically the lurker icon that you see the lurk icon that gives the unit lurk as well as plus one plus one and that can actually double stack meaning if, if you can actually hit the target twice so over time they will get random one ones because of the attachment as well as they would get turned into lurker so that's pretty good and that's about it okay so this is a 1.5 star caitlin path the with the week the weekly challenge with our two star kindred let's do this yeah this should be fun Re oh this is so good powers okay stalls us this is repels us okay this is much better because caitlin's swings are gonna get like cancelled out if caitlin is the strongest not obviously the fact that uh frostbiting is a super strong power in a majority of the fights the spell mana refill is decent but it's more towards our side whereas the uh attack power uh, frostbite is their enemy's sides effect so i take the enemy side effect more like stun the strongest is an absolute monster of a power so this one all like gets stun i mean frozen is very good I don't feel like giving but i will put another extra prey on the board you definitely want to have a lot of praise with uh yes squad kindred squad so take this one here and start swinging yeah definitely want to start producing uh praise on the board so we can dish our damage these die they do a lot of damage so you play our uh, prankster okay i should have played prankster first she's two three Every turn they get, so they, have, they can have multiple trackers. That's pretty good. More spells cost more. Like this. More praise. They actually go. Okay. okay. It's fine. These praise are gonna be explosive when they die. Here we go next. The longer they survive, the more dangerous they are. Okay, can read this. You're super. So do. So even this is more hilarious so we do this on one 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 they die from this but i want to look at the action how it happens whenever these die they will do more damage because of prankster being in the hand area pretty badass yeah super so you just want as many plays on the board as possible at the start super nice nice uh uh actually this is fine not the greatest, but not really good. With that and Mass Mother is pretty good. 
could turn to me free at the tournament is still learning, but I would take a reroll here. That is weird. I think Timo. Timu and Yao would be okay because he is coming on turn 4, Timu is coming on 1, and his units are, uh, squad is also cheap. So I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Heal and what is this? Grand Plaza. I'll go for Grand Plaza. I don't need a heal. Going for heal is absolute waste. So Grand Plaza is the right and right bit stop to go for. In case you get something decent. I actually don't know what that does. You want to keep Kindred? We keep the 1 mana. Whenever they have an attack token, they get the fleet. So we just take it out. Okay, this is one man. Okay, cars you draw cost one less or what? I don't know. I don't know why it did it cost one less. I will play this then. Keep the one mana so I can keep the fleet next turn for free. Not free, but for the uh, mana from this turn. Fleet. Cross pin. We will definitely take it out. Might as well take it out so whatever they play next will be frozen. I'm, I don't want to play two undying. Trust me, two undying on the board is problematic. You don't need that many. One is more than enough. Then we play our kindred. Let's see what they play. Let this one do this one. Yeah. Let our undying take damage. We keep our prey on the board growing. Get more and more damage in itself. That's nice. Prankster is here. All right, let's get to this. Work. Do they know, little lamb? They will. They would go for this guy, probably. Oh, they're not doing anything. That should do it. Because we're just gonna do this. Here. 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 And that should do it. Yeah, Prankster and yeah, we killed them. Yeah, this is super. This this co combo of Kindred is super. So one of the powers that we're looking for is Raiding Party now. With grace and precision. Yeah, with Raiding Party, Kindred Squad is an absolute beast. Uh, actually, I'll take the Overrun on this guy. Raiding Overrun? Yeah, Overrun is pretty good. It's not the greatest, but I will have more of the pups in the deck. Okay. So uh, add challenger to a unit from you. Okay, that's what Grand Plaza does. Basically gives challenger to the squad. I'll take challenger on our undying. What can we recruit? Double my stat line. Okay, three mana, six, six. Add four copies of Donald Banger to the attack with a random item. This is actually a pretty disgusting thing about it. Challenger on this one? Nah, nah, this one is pretty good. Three mana, six, six is no joke. Concerning its kindred squad. Super body on the board. Challenger on an ally here. Yeah, this is pretty good. Oh, let's go this way. Actually, it's fine. We can use this together in case we get uh, in a bad spot. So, two in the hand. Oh, I don't know why they take it with the thing. I guess they don't care about the power. Yeah, so two more plays on the board. Now we have our 6 6 on the board. Oh, spitting, yeah, 6 6 on the board. It's pretty good. Crazy, actually. 3 minus 6 6. Now, Mass Mother ready. To take over this one if you need to. So that it doesn't die to the thing. Definitely gonna Mass Mother here. Okay. Just take it out. Dead one. Play anything we go for kindred this turn can go for kindred this turn so we do this and we have to attack right there this guy die, guy dies to something else so actually we could do this yeah this is super this is actually pretty badass And we, our prankster, our prankster coming, we win. And if this thing survives one turn, we win. This one. Okay. We'll take the trade on our kindred. Actually, we're going to take the trade. We can just do this. So go here. Kindred will level up. And we should be fine from this one onwards. We only need one damage. Three kills it itself, yeah. I'm actually here. 
Very nice. Just do this then. Yeah, that should do it. This skill will get us the win. Nice. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, Kendra is super fun. He's very she's she's very different from the others. Our squad style is so unique. And raiding if we can get raiding party. Giving two two to this guy doesn't actually make a difference. Yeah, it does make a difference. He's gonna be a two mana two one. That's gonna summon a prey. So that's pretty good. I'll take it. Smooth soloist and shop obviously. Smooth soloist will get priority because smooth soloist gives three power option. Yeah. So this is pretty good. When you summon a one cost ally, grant it two two. Obviously raiding party. We are looking for raiding party. Pretty good. Now you will see where this deck goes with raiding party. Holy shit, this deck is broken with raiding party. One, I actually got some, I think I got one game where I got two raiding parties. Anyways, just steal this. GP is coming on turn five, so you have to be a little worried about that. And they have Parley and make it rain, so that's also pretty annoying. Oh, okay, GP will always be frozen. And get this one against that one. Take it out. So that this one gets uh freeze every turn. We don't want to take the trade. This is a boss fight. We heal for our HP, and I want more praise on the board. Hmm? No point doing that. We play our prank, a prankster. Okay, we don't have to attack because we know that they're gonna trade it like this. We don't need to do it yet. Hmm? Okay, super unlucky. I think I'll give it away. Yeah, I'll give it away. The other pup. If the tracker goes for the pup, we are also okay with that. Okay, they're not. This is the no. Next turn is GP's turn. We keep double pup. Uh, we just swing. One of them will die here. Yeah, one of them will die here. Five damage to go next. It's fine. Five blocker focus five that fine by us. It's GP's turn. Dead men tell my tale. Must like tender meat, so we just we can just do this. The These are all damage towards reading party, so that's crazy. Take it out. Take the challenger tracker out. I mean, all of the trackers are challenging, but just pretty decent. Let's see what big unit we got. Oh, five meta, twelve, twelve. Super. Over here, big fella. So I don't have to do it like this, though. And yeah, this guy is enough. We just slow it down. This guy is still growing. Okay, almost there. Ooh. I'm gonna unblock the. They're not swinging, so we go next. But this turn is gonna be gonna be swinging with everything for sure. Oh damn, it would be double my step, right? Double my step, right? So just pop it up. I think that should finish them off. <laughs> Super, yeah. Three bombs on the board. Super funny. 5 minute 12 something crazy okay, okay. when I'm, uh, when I'm summoned flash bomb nah summon flash bomb is not the greatest actually it was it is a uh, fine okay we're gonna re reroll here yeah I'll go reroll here attack plan 3 poison mushrooms this is actually crazy he gives 5 and now he gives 8 so I'll take it not that I'm getting Timu that much power Cards you draw cost one. This is super beautiful power to have. Healer, I don't need, so I'm gonna fo go for the gold chest. Yeah, no point for going for the healer. Our HP is full as it is. Uh, I'll keep this one for the time being. Uh, Mass Mother is not important. We have a two mana, we have a three mana. You're looking for other things. Mass Mother kills your own unit, right? Okay, if I had this one, I would have taken Mass Mother. It's fine. 
Yeah, it's John Baker, Don, Don Speaker. It's funny when you play this Don uh, Speaker fight after you had played Galio's one. Galio's one is an absolute monster one. So this one attack, we take a damage, it's fine. We get mushrooms in. Go next. We just have to be careful about how we take the trade. Okay, this one. We'll take one of the Dawn Speakers out, obviously the one that is stored. None of the units are dying until... Okay, we'll take a trade here. That should be fine. Okay, no. We don't have to take trade with this. We'll trade with this. Okay. So all of them die. Okay, this guy will grow. And these two will grow. It's fine by us. But if they grow, it doesn't matter. But yeah, helps us. So definitely I'm gonna absorb this guy with our Mass Mother. Okay. Just swing like this, swing like this. The reason we're swinging with this is because they have to block, yeah. So we, we are okay with this pup dying. Get mushrooms in the deck. And these are all growing. Let them grow even more. Go next to get the mana. Try to play the pup yet. Yeah, so there are three prey bombs on the board. On dying night. We'll do this, we'll do this. On prey bomb. Okay, no, this is not dying. It's fine. So we'll uh, blow up one of them. Very nice. Put another Prey Bomb on the board. And go next. Yeah, the fact that all of the one, all of them stack is crazy. I thought it's only one at a time. But no, all of them. Super, take the damage. I will blow one of the things. Okay, that's 4-9. It's fine. I catch it. It's fine. I can, take, I can play one. Use my mana perfectly. Moving next turn. Okay, four attackers, six blockers. Yeah, our players are sitting pretty well. Go three and three, three, okay. Uh, block it here. Take the trade here. Okay, I don't have to. I'll take the trade like this. They are worth this. And use the things that block as base uh, blocker block pullers next turn. Let's okay. absorb this one. It becomes a fearsome then. I think this is fine. Yeah, this should be fine. This gets vulnerable, and the others can't be blocked. So we just do it like this. Pull, pull. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah, this should be perfect. Super. I don't even want to know what would be the stat end of the thing that is coming in our hand. But yeah, this guy is going to be at least 20, 20, 20, 20 plus. 20 or at least 15. Yeah, super. One damage to face. We accept it. Okay. Infermeral. Ooh, Infermeral is actually hilarious because we can actually combine it with uh, Mass Mother. So the Mass Mother will get all the stat line without them getting the Infermeral. So it's pretty good. I'll take it. Pretty disgusting. Gold chest, take that 200 free gold, we'll get 1,100. Can we get a legendary? Yes, we can. Let's see if we can get a legendary. All have Lorcas. It's not the worst one. I'll take it. It's a pretty good one. Oh, yeah. So the last purchase. Okay, we're epic shop here. Go for the epic shop site. Oh, is this battle spit? Yeah, super dangerous fight. Yeah, so we have a swimming, a lot of gold. Hopefully, we can get a legendary there. All the epic powers. I'm, I don't really trust epic powers that much. Okay, so we have our Timu finally in our hand. Uh, we're gonna keep this guy like two exactly we'll play with mass mother the informal copy is not taken by the mass mother so you actually have a very big body on the board New in. so that's big we'll play this one so we'll absorb this one and mass mother is now seven six on turn two really disgusting we play timu now timu and pop It's pretty good. They have to block it like this, right? Yeah, they have to block it like this, or they take too much damage. They can't block it like this with this, I think. Yeah, they don't have three attack power. Yeah, exactly. Super. Almost leveled up. Okay, good battle smith from them. We don't need that. We need to play. It. We'll play it later. We need space in case we need to play something extra. Lark. <laughs> Lark plus one plus one. Okay. Uh, I'll play the dude. Double my stat line. Okay. 
So we'll mushroom hit first and see what they do. Okay, oh, we just swim with everything. We don't need to worry. Even if it dies, it's fine. It doesn't die. Hey, we hit lurk. Yeah. So Timu levels up. Uh, the order is wrong. Timu should be always far right when attacking because the dog, the pup gives mushrooms. Okay, six damage is pretty good. Our yeah, sprays are hitting now. See, definitely. We have an extra yeah. So we always keep one board space in case we need it. Need to play something. Or else you have to override them and that's just inefficient. That's what there's here. One minus seven, seven. Just make our mass mother absolutely crazy. Go next. I think we alone would finish them off. So all this should be like this. Yeah, this is actually perfect. The other puffer up. Mushroom uh, givers should be left of Timu. This kill should kill them. Yeah. Super. Nice, nice. It's such a really nice combo. You're hitting for so many angles. You're hitting from death, last breath. You're hitting from mushrooms. Pretty smooth sailing, yeah. Let's see what we get. Almost settle and fury. I'll take it. More of the dudes in the deck. Okay. Our epic shop. Let's see what we get. Okay. So, okay. When you play a spell, do you want to the enemy next? I don't even play a spell, I have many spells. So you look for another one. Extra gem is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely perfect. So, okay, 570 gold in hand. We'll cut away something in. in unimportant. Oh, God, cut away this guy. Sucks. Anyways, moving on to the 1.5 star weekly challenge, the Caitlyn Path with our 2 star kindred. Let's do this. Should be fun, right? Yeah, but the freeze on the enemy strongest unit is the, like, Nail in the coffin. They can't do anything against this combo. I'll throw this away. 3-3 three, three is fine. Look for something of 2 or 1. Perfect. Or attacking, so it's even better. But high ch chances, chances are... Okay, wait. They have 1 mana, so they can't actually Mystic Shot. This one. Let me just attack with these two. Oh, super. And we got it for 0 mana. And we'll just place it back. I think it's only temporary for one turn. No, cards we draw cost one less, even if you draw it from the enemy team. Okay, pretty nice. This is next turn is Kitlin's turn. Up on myself right and Fury. Okay, losing our tap, dude. Fight by us. I can use this one to protect it, but I don't need to. It's pretty good. Okay, I'll just take it out. So they don't have any blocker for this guy. I'll just full swing and dish out max damage. And this guy is actually still Lurk, because he costs 3. And there we go. I think that should do it. Oh! 1 damage short. Actually, I have this guy. So it's not that bad. Okay. Timu's dying. Yeah, still, we still win. Yeah, this guy yeah, was an absolute MVP. His double stat line is no joke. 3 mana 6-6 six, six into whatever he has become because of raiding party. Super. Yeah, so 1.5 star uh, Caitlyn weekly challenge done with our 2 star Kindred. Let's see what we get. Okay, yes, okay, nice. Uh, champion industry and uh, power discussion time. Champion industry, I got <laughs> follower to be an MVP. Okay, so this is the Wings of the Way. When you play him, you get two options. You either play uh, one first wave, which is 0 1, and pray together. Or you can turn it into a 3-3 three, three if you sacrifice a unit with this. The thing is that I gave he has a minus one cost because of Kindred's level up. I mean, as you level up, you give, put attachments in your uh, cards in your deck. And the one that this guy has is a H coin, making him a zero mana. Then I gave him a pickaxe, making him a uh, two zero, I think two one. And then I gave a three three ephemeral because uh, we have uh, another card in the deck is Mass Mother. Mass Mother absorbs the stats of the card. So I just played this guy and Mass Mother, and then you have a two mana a seven six out of nowhere. So absolutely monstrous combo. That's about it. He's actually stronger. He's here. That means he's much better than Timu and Kindred. So yeah, funny. Moving on to the powers. Uh game strategy could work mana. Pretty pretty disgusting. Uh moving on to the next power, which is all allies uh that are three or less are Lurk is pretty pretty nice because majority of the cards, as you can see, 
see from here onwards everything is three mana or less so all will be lurkers so pretty good uh moving on to the next one which is karchi draco cost uh, cost one less an absolute staple power pretty decent uh you can play kindred on turn three if you draw him on turn three so it's pretty nice uh raiding part is an absolute beast of a power i'm gonna talk about this with the power combined with that one next one is uh, uh round start frostbite the strongest enemy this round stalls the game for us very good uh against big units this will be absolute blessing uh moving, ne moving on to the next power which is uh kindred's two star power every game such you get one extra mana and round start create a spirit journey in hand if you already have have one reduces cost by two spirit journey is uh, kindred's signature spell uh, five mana killer unit then revive it if it stays in your hand it's gonna cost go it's cost gonna go down by two every turn until it's zero it's gonna stay at zero moving on to the next one which is that uh, power i was talking about that will combine with raiding party every round start you get a prey if you already have a prey on the board even then it's gonna stack the last breath which is basically uh if you already have a prey instead grant your prey last breath deal one to the enemy nexus this one damage is a tick damage it means that if you survive if your prey survives on the board for five turns that prey will do five five damage to the enemy nexus but one 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 each so that means each of the one one damage is hitting the enemy nexus each time and this will buff the next card by five times if the uh, prey survive five times if the prey survive ten times then it next unit will get get plus ten plus ten like this absolute monster for power together and of course the last power not uh, not last but not least is stamina game search you heal your nexus for two that's about it okay so this is the three star lulu path the weekly challenge with our two star diana Let's do this. I think I haven't played Diana that much. I have. She's 11, so clearly I have. Okay. This should be okay. We have to talk about the mutators. Okay. Every game start, uh, every enemy has 10 extra HP, 1 extra mana at the start, and 1 extra card in their hand. Around start, the four summons. The next turn is basically, uh, if I remember correctly, the T Hex fight from Victor's Path. Every round, they're going to get a free, free turret, and it's going to get stronger every round until turn 8 onwards. They will have a T Hex. T Hex is the 8, 8 mana, 8, 8. Uh, the dinosaur turret. Now, of course, each round, the player's first Nexus card costs uh, one less. So if we find a Loxus support, that will be fun. Okay. Okay. When, when you summon an ally, grant its skills to all enemies. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Basically, everyone will have. Uh, overwhelm quick attack challenger and stuff like that pretty disgusting because uh, uh diana gives everyone challenger but now we share our keywords so okay so too expensive too weird so these two are fine we're looking for something to activate um nightfalls that's why the blades edge the power that gives us blades edge is super strong in this deck okay they're attacking we have to, we have to take a little bit of damage oh we'll take the damage it's fine question is do you want to take four damage though i think you should so this was we take a one hit on them okay now even if you play this they're gonna pull it yeah oh damn they get plus one plus one oh this only this fight that's a lot of damage we took mm. we play this one. this guy is tough okay. definitely want a bigger hp unit so we can block Dark next turn Oh yeah, we could have given those up to everyone. You're fearsome. You're super unlucky. Just do this. Yeah, sharing of keywords is no joke then. Mm, look at the huge bird, six against here, and you're gonna get pulled here as well. Give it a whirl. Okay, put this one. Here. Play a tough unit. Silence. Lock him. No 11 damage. First fight, 11 damage. Almost dead. That's fine. Uh, play this one. You play this one next turn. And give the other one I want to lose. Some. So we have five. Yeah, perfect. We have exactly enough. You do this. Did this. You are vulnerable. To give everyone an uh, elusive and there we go no way to block that much damage super you took a bunch of damage but yeah i think i think it's only for this specific fight though not the entire path oh, we have one revive on us as well so anything that is small ah, that's okay 
Anything that's small will help us activate Nightfall. That's that's what I mean. Uh, support squad. Let's see what we can get. Echo is pretty good. Uh, sharing of keywords. I think this is going to be a Kaisa path for sure. Because we're going to be playing with a lot of keywords across the board. I'm sharing it as well. Okay, Zinf uh, Zafu Zaps Prefim's Elusive. It's this path. The best five areas have fierce on. If the spell has mana, the post steals one mana. Nah. Spell gold. We're gonna gold. Go with this one. Triferian and Shieldbreaker comes on the board pretty late, like six mana plus. And our deck is an uh, aggro deck. Oh, we'll keep it. Ah, nah, it's fine. Elusive, elusive, challenger. Squeak attack. We're gonna play Diana after everyone else. And give quick attack to everyone. Quick attack challenger, everyone is no joke. Okay, play this one. I'll take the block here. I'll take two damage, it's fine. So it's a defensive turn, so we'll play attack gold. Next turn, we'll play our Diana. Uh, is Diana under threat? That's the question. Oh, that's fine. This. Yeah, she gives mana back. That's the reason why. If we're getting the power, it does. Everyone gets elusive. The HP is quite high, right? So even if you want to finish it, yeah. No way close. Okay, so let's take out this one. This one. This one. This one as well. It's fine. We don't need to do damage, do damage to face. Even though we're taking damage to face. Let's get rid of the board first. And then we'll work around uh, finishing them. Shiraz, I see. Give it to me. Get this. Very nice. Get down a level, sir. But they could not the weapon will live us nightfall next turn and play guys as well. I don't think they're gonna attack, but yeah. Oh, they are attacking. I'm gonna get my goat away then. Gives us a gem. Yeah, gives us a gem and you can play guys as well. So we play this one here and play guys. That's a good quick attack to everyone and challenger. Yeah, that's exactly it. That dude comes super late. Doesn't matter who we pull, just 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 too, too much damage as it is. Yeah, sharing of keywords is a disgustingly strong power. It's an overwhelming coming at us. Get this one. Tough on everyone. So this block here, ridiculous damage, and this block, uh, this one here, we will double resist. unit dies, we don't take any damage, and we swing it part of the way next turn. We don't need to use these. Unnecessary. No that should do it. Uh, so Diner does so super damage across the board. And sharing of keywords just makes it even crazier. But you're you are at a very low HP. You can even start get killed. We speak. Very nice, very nice. Oh, 20 HP dead. Okay, we can play the Xenotype. Or we can play Nightfall. Oh, I think the Nightfall is much better. Uh, Xenotype is random and slow. But the bird is pretty fast. Okay, we'll play uh Pail Cascade because we have already paid caskets in our deck. Uh, through Dino spell, so that's good. A squeaker should be pain. Okay, so only the earlier pass of the game is painful. Let's rest are pretty manageable. Blade's Edge is something that we're looking for. Activating, yeah. Nightfall is pain. Augment is here. Uh, we are attacking. I'll play the goat. In case they don't have any answer for three mana, which they technically have, with this one, got all this one. Uh, attacking with anything else is not needed. Next, okay. 
They're attacking at three, so we have to play something, right? Nah, fine. Oh, we have to do a, a little efficiency block at the start because we need the mana gem. We won't play this one this turn, we play it next turn. We'll play this guy. This guy gives one extra mana. Go next. Yeah, this is the turn I'm gonna use the mana. Uh, gems to activate Nightfall. Do this. Okay, our yeah. Diana. We can take everyone as well. I'll lose everyone as well. Okay, what keyword does he have? Faded. Faded as well. Find your path in the up. dark and follow no false light. We'll do a bunch of hit across the board. Oh, we love it. Evolved, I guess. Yeah, super. Everybody evolved. All we needed was overwhelm. It's it's the five minute dude has it. It's fine. We have quick attack, so. Let's take out the big squads, right? Uh, kill. Kill. Kill, kill. And we should be blocked by the other two. We're not too worried about the face damage right now. We just want to get the units out of the way. Then we can do all the damage we want. Then we can do all the damage we want. So the uh, attachment uh, power we are looking for is rally every round. That would be absolutely broken. So that's that. So what you want to give is give it to the weakest, uh, semi weakest one is this one. Of course, we play this one and stun that one. Now everybody has overrun. Super. Don't think they will attack. Yeah, no reason for them to attack. But everybody has overrun now. And this time we're gonna do super damage across the board. Uh, we just swing. Overrun here. Overrun here. Actually, overwhelm him here. Yeah, that's the only one overwhelming with that's that, that's not elusive. The rest of them, everyone is elusive. Should have done it like this. Unless face damage. Yeah, but I don't think this can be blocked. Yeah, too much elusive damage and oh, quick attack and overwhelm damage. Yeah, sharing of keywords is an absolute blessing in uh, Diana squad. Super aggro. Yes, we got eight HP. Yikes. Uh, step my strike is too slow. Uh, let's look for another one. Ah, oh, nice. Give spell shield as it is. One mana spell shield is pretty good. Uh, shop. Reverse row. I'm gonna go for shop. Let's see if we buy this. But all our allies have overrun. Absolutely beautiful. We don't have to work around. Now we just need to find. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna take up full heal as we're at the low, lower parts of the. We are about to lose. We do a full heal. We still have a lot of gold to buy the one power that we're looking for. Which is basically a uh, rally every round. We don't need any legendary power. We don't need anything impressive or crazy. Just overwhelm everyone and uh, rally every round. Tower four is here. Let's see what they play. Can't really do anything with that. So, we, okay, we can all portal does it. We all trade our portal. The elusive one. Nice. Daybreak create nightfall. So let's daybreak create nightfall. Ooh. Wait. Didn't happen the way I wanted to, but it's fine. We'll take it. For the Empire. Whatever. I'll take the thing. Actually, I don't need to. Yeah. I have quick attackers in the deck. Eventually, they will give, give quick attack. Even though I have to take the trade here now, though. Oh, By my hand, oh damn. Noxus I have to challenge net now. It's disgusting. Oh, he gets on signed by us. Let's put something. Let's draw something. Oh, it's actually pulling it. Um. Then I will should do it like this. Block it like this. And block Swain. And yeah, that should be fine. Survive, survives. I left it that spot, we're not gonna lie. But it's fine. Um, he feels one man if I can make it. one man. 
for some help at all if you think about it. Now let's play Daybreak then and try to uh, invoke something good. Life seals definitely something that you want and give life to everyone then. I have my order. Okay, so that should attack here. They should attack here. They should attack here. It should be fine. We clear a very big chunk of the board. They can't technically flock because we have it here, but they're gonna get turret. Oh, one damage to everything. That's super painful. Does it kill it? Nope. No, just absorb the entire thing. Yeah. I don't think I wanna play the girl this turn. Get or play the girl next turn. Bomb, bomb. Well, damage down. fine. Boss fight, so we get our, our HP back. Okay. Play our Kaisa. Here's where we make our stand. Next turn, we're gonna play the Lifesteal Girl. We'll heal for so much. If you don't get Sunderers. So we play this one. The light of my Sheer Lifesteal everywhere. Level us up as well. We have something the void will never understand. Me. Uh, we try to look for a challenger on our Kaisa. Fear the power you do not see. Kaisa challenger here. Or quick attack. Hmm. Seven. Um stuff is better. Moki was on her means she can do crazy stuff. I am the hunter. Twenty damage. So we can't actually do it, but heal for full, absolutely full. I oh, might as well do it then. No, the barrages don't heal. Super, actually. Go next. You can't really copy anything. She has everything on her. Yusuf. Block that one. Big one overwhelm. We actually have blocker for that one. Okay, they swing or they are swinging swing by us. Block. 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 <laughs> because of the life stills, we're not taking any damage. I think it should be fine. Uh, heal this guy. Kaisa is tough, so Kaisa doesn't really take any damage. Even if they flock, Kaisa doesn't die. This should do it. There's no counter for this. The barrage just kill it. Yeah. An absolute gorgeous lifesteal. Yeah, the invoke was clutch. The sister was clutch. The sister was clutch. Twin sister. Oh, man. Almost. Guys, I the win. Okay. So let's get well, all allies have over on us. So there's zero point of game in it. But we can actually give up uh, spell shield to Kaisa. Kaisa will contribute towards. Quick attack, spell shield, and overall already. So yeah, that's crazy. What well, we have double? Yeah, nah. Let's level up, Kaisa. Kaisa's playing. Kaisa won us the game there. Stunner strongest enemy is an absolute east of a power to have. Healer doesn't require, so we go for the gold side. Yeah, we don't need to full to heal anything. We are healing for full. We have full HP. I mean. Okay, so Kaisa is here. Yitan is here. Okay. So let's just keep the entire squad for the time being. We're attacking. So we can play Diana. Play the Polo first. And those mana packs, we can play Diana. Success gets noticed around here. Dusk approaches. She gets plus two. So we can do this. And do this. I will be heard. Super. Oro will die to that one, that's the unfortunate part. Oh, super. Not the greatest, but... We play that dude. Gives us one extra mana. As well as spell cascade activated now. Okay. We're gonna send the small one against the Poro, and we can protect the Poro. Super. Let's do this. Let's do that. 
Does it actually matter which one you block? We'll take this block then. We don't want to take too, too much unnecessary damage though. It's not Kaisa's turn next turn though. Uh, so what we're gonna do is gonna weaponize this guy. Okay, we're gonna weaponize uh yeah as well. Okay, where's where's weaponize Diana? So the pale casket is open so that we can get parlayed here. Will do damage to a unit if it dies or not? They want to damage. So the country to do anything, it's gonna die anyways. So let's just play Kaisa. She doesn't level up though. But she passes what you work to everyone. It's fine. Oh. Strike. Strike, strike. Super. 11 damage. Overrun to everything, majority of them. Nightfall, create a dawn break. Daybreak, create a nightfall. The good activator of nightfall. Uh, three. Okay. One next. Challenge overrun. Everybody has that. Okay. Oh, we don't have a yeah elusive defender though. Uh, unlucky. Uh, block, block. That block there. Five damage. Okay, I could do use fail casket, but we need to emergency purposes only. So nightfall daybreak. We can get anything. The moon is our queen. The oh, night we did activate kingdom. something. Okay, solar is Oh, I, mean, I thought you were gonna actually get an invoke. It was my bad. Let's see what we get first. Pour your spell shield to everyone, definitely take it. Can't, yeah, can't really do anything against us. We're just gonna swing for a lot of damage. Everybody has a lot of but Only a few has quick attack. So let's take the biggest one out of the picture. It's not this one. There are others don't actually make a difference. Mm, click like this. I don't want to use my units unnecessary. This is fine. 16. We don't actually we don't have the enough damage to kill them, so don't take the trade the units yet. I alone stand against the abyss. Isla, keep them safe. Next swing we should when be fine. Even as long as our Kai sent Yas yeah, survives. Mm, yeah, I see. Oh, I think that should do it. Yeah, this should level them up. There you go. And he actually gave a warning evolve as well. Everyone has plus two. No elusive? No elusive. Unlucky. Go next. This time I'm gonna swing and finish them off. So much firepower coming from our side. So absolute swing doesn't even make mega defense how we pull all of them have a world doesn't matter how you pull it And of course Kaisa is Kaisa Yeah, Kaisa and Dian Dinas looking super to pick well to it's only because of the sharing of keywords in my opinion Another power that we are looking for is actually evolution uh, I don't want this this is actually fine I'll keep it. I'll use my reels for emergency purposes. What is this? Healer or oh, healer, which we don't want. But we will go for gold, take the 200, go to the shop. Let's see what we can get. Here it is. Do we pay created cards? Not really. So we take a reroll. Sting officer is pretty decent. I'll take it. Uh, another shop there. So we go for the shop side. Oh, the shark tooth. This is a very difficult fight. Shark, shark trainer is very difficult. I've always struggled against this fight. There are specific fights that you just struggle. This is one of them. Super dangerous fight. Uh, it's a little too late. But it's fine. That's fine. I'll take it. It's a little risky because we are looking for something of one mana. Uh, it gets it. Not the greatest. Oh, we already have one already. Okay. If I play Pale Cascade, I will get only one mana back. If I play Pale Cascade, that's two mana. I'll get only one mana back. So might as well just swing. Uh, get the flash bombs in. Next turn we'll play our elusive. Uh, next turn I will play this guy. The question is, how do we play that guy? The reason why I want to do, don't want to play the elusive is because uh, I want to give everyone elusive. As you can see, why the shark tra trainer is so painful. Okay, got one. Unit for free, pretty good. 
vulnerable. Slime it in. Give it to this guy. Actually, no, this guy is gonna die regardless, even if you get, if you get plus one, plus one to him. So, might as well go here. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good. Seven damage. Uh, damage is at the moment irrelevant because I think this is the last fight before the boss anyways. So challenger over is pretty good. Uh, the challenger is already in the deck so let's go for tough. The Kaisa levels up feel faster. That's says 3-6. Kaisa herself is here. Two. Uh, let's attach here. Okay. Going wide man. Super wide. Let this one draw something. I was looking for yeah. Ah, uh, Diana. So if you attack with this, they die. But if I attack with this, does anyone die? No. Everybody has three HP. They have only three blockers. Super. Okay. Turn seven is when the actual trainer is coming, right? Yeah. So hit something good. Oh, not that great damage yes i'm gonna actually save my guy this might be seem like a uh, bad decision but i need my dude let's take the fact that they're going super wide uh, our level up here share evolve with everyone everybody's gonna get plus two plus two from the evolve and level up of course i know how to destroy and the level up the evolve itself super okay she's the only one who didn't have evolve nice keyword uh special on everyone blocks it yeah, so uh, if you have to, you have to have super overpowered powers to actually beat this fight. This fight is super difficult. I've lost against this fight so many times. Okay, let's see what we can get. Owl. Uh, Owl is a daybreak card, so we want to play this guy first. We were peaceful. So Owl activates Nightfall, so everybody gets. Yeah. That's the dude. This is the dude that I was talking about. Super pain. Uh, who doesn't have quick attack? This, guy has, this guy doesn't have quick attack. Give it to the biggest one then. Uh, this one. We'll see what we can, if I can get Diana. No Diana. But I can actually boost attack power even more. Which I would take it. And then I will swing. I think it, it, there's too much damage going through. Even how they block it. Yeah, too much damage going through. Super damage. All allies of world is no joke. Especially about Diana. They hit like an absolute truck. So long, boys. Nice. See you next time. It's like you endure everything and then you just smack them. Uh, I'll take this one. This is actually hilarious, but I don't think you will ever ma make it to turn 9. Oh, but I, oh, fine, I'll take it for the, for the jokes. Because Challenger is already within the squad. Uh, I'll go here. Let's see if we can find it. Oh my god, what a way to get the final power full heal of course yeah rally every round baby okay so this is the three star lulu path the weekly challenge with our two star diana uh from the, and now that we got domination i'm not at all worried domination is an absolute beast of a power okay don't want okay i can actually want this this guy gives one one mana okay i can actually play it right now yeah i'll play it right now looks pretty good so what we do okay let's see what this guy got elusive is all within the deck so we don't need elusive so we let's play the dude get our mana back and then play uh this owl the owl will basically give one extra mana next turn can we attack yes we can we can attack with blue this guy Lulu will get traded pretty good for us oh actually we lost the mana I, I, the bird would have given us one extra mana it's fine Getting rid of Lulu is also pretty good. Hopefully they don't have another Lulu. And that's why they played the Lulu. I traded the Lulu. Control one, Lulu. Control two, uh, control what do they have? This time Fearsome. Fearsome is pretty good. We'll put Fearsome on the board. Okay. Take the trade. Uh, I think I would take the trade. I'm, I'm okay with this. As long as we lose unit, they lose unit. So I'm okay with it. So this guy has Fearsome. We don't have Fearsome in our side. We can put the... Uh, Goat as well. We can put the goat as well. Tough on everyone. Oh, it's our oh attacking every turn. No, I should have attacked. That was so bad. 
Okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, super. Did she did she level up? Evolve? Oh, she did. Super. Kai says an absolute beast. I know how to destroy them. And everyone has overrun as it is. If we get plus one, we don't have to copy anything. Just swing. So much damage. Absolute beast. We just go. We're gonna just swing next turn. By the way, we're not gonna double up. They double up anything. We just swing. can swing i think we should swing okay never mind we should have pretty good squats in our side yeah if it was any other thing i would even i would i would have swung but take the damage play this one elusive on everyone and that's gg right there yeah that's gg right there no way to block and even if they block with elusive there's just too much overrun damage going through yeah super what a way to finish that game yeah, diana is so strong Dinah is actually very strong. I knew that Rhino was strong the moment I got her to boost start. They'll keep retreating and we'll keep pushing. She's a very unique acro squad. Okay, so three star uh, Lulu Path, the weekly challenge done with our two star Diana. Let's see what we get. Hopefully an A. Okay, nice, pretty good. Uh, champion Ashman power discussion time. So the, our support squad was Kaisa. Kaisa had a colossal hammer, basically what we had, we got with her. A colossal hammer, giving her, making her five mana seven, uh, seven five. But later on, I gave her sh spell shield because uh, Kaisa levels up. If you have played six units on the board with six uh, keywords, six not six units, any six keywords, unique keywords are played together. That means she evolves and levels up. Spell shield is a keyword. Quick attack is a keyword. So she's contributing towards two keywords herself. And yeah, that's about the support squad. Moving on to the powers. Ra ra round start rally every round is an absolute beast of a power. Uh, Diana squad attacks is an aggro squad. So you want to attack every turn as it is. Because you'll see that if you do attack in alternate turns, meaning if you don't have this power and you attack in just one, one turn gaps, uh, you do a lot of damage, but you take a lot of damage on the other turn that you don't have that attack token when you're defending. Because, you know, they hit and you can't use your units your, your, your units are small in hp but high in damage so if you can rally every round that's absolutely disgusting um next power is game start uh you get a summon a sting officer it's okay not the worst uh flash bombs were clutch or useful in few situations pretty decent we're gonna next power is an app this is an absolute I always i always pick this power which is sun use uh round start strong the strongest enemy solves the game for you uh, in every shape or form in any deck aggro defensive or offensive this card this uh, power will always do wonders for you absolute gorgeous of a power allies have over is an absolute beast of a power to be in in dyna squad as i said they do a lot of damage in majority of the cases you get jump block but if all allies have overwhelm everybody every damage goes through next one is then sh sharing sharing is scaring this power is also pretty disgusting on a diana squad when you summon an ally grant its keywords to all allies diana has the attachment of diana has uh, attachment of giving all uh, herself she has quick attack and she can give challenger that means the moment you drop her she will give everyone challenger and quick attack on the board absolutely monstrous next one is diana's two star power every game starts you get one extra mana and when you play the first card each round refill one mana one mana not one spell mana meaning you can actually play a one mana unit and then get all of your mana back because you just played one mana and refills one mana absolutely monstrous it helps uh with the nightfall combo a lot allies have nightfall grant me uh plus two grant me plus two it means that anything you play second in a turn will always have plus two meaning if you have like seven mana you can play a one mana unit and all the other units that you're gonna play after that one mana unit all will have plus two plus two because there will be nightfall played after one card pretty, pretty nasty and of course game search you heal your nexus for two that's about it